This is the FV-217 Badger, a Tier 10 British Collector Tank Destroyer, a vehicle that is still absolutely busted even after Update 10.3. There's a lot of people that believe the changes to the Badger hurt the tank, and while I do think that they did slightly nerf it in certain areas, the buffs also really, really helped the tank. So let's talk about the changes that occurred. First of all, it got a slight dispersion nerf, going from 0.326 to 0.335. In reality, this is like a 1-2% dispersion nerf. It's not going to matter. The on-movement dispersion is the same, which means, yeah, the tank's never going to be fully aimed in to begin with. It's fine. When it comes to the aiming time, everything else is still the same as well. The vehicle's ammo did change. It now fires a PCR standard, which it used to be AP, and now it has heat as a premium round. This is a slight nerf because the heat is the same pen as the APCR. Obviously, having 370 mils of APCR pen is better than 370 heat, but let's be honest, that's still plenty of pen to cut through anything in front of you. The E100 turret at most is like 350, so yeah, the changes to the gun are still still fine in my opinion. And what do you get in return? Well, the vehicle now gets Hesh. It's not, you know, like FV4202 Hesh dealing uh, 230 mils of pen, but it still does have about 110 mils of pen, which is enough to butter through mediums and lightly armored vehicles quite easily on the sides, on the front. You get to the side of a heavy, you might be able to chunk through. It's just that little bit of additional damage, allowing you to now sit at upwards of 5,500 DPM, because, you know, the vehicle has 3,800 DPM base. So, starting off this game, we've already cleared probably the biggest threat on the enemy team, the FE-2 and 5B-183, bringing us up to 1,700 after we hit that very lucky shot on the side of the Jagdpanzer. Okay, well, a pretty solid start to this game, but this is just the beginning. We are going to have an absolute farm fest this game. Game, but not just an easy farm, we are going to have to work a little bit. Now, the Jagdpanzer bounces us with a heat shell, great example of the Badger's hull down capabilities. As long as this vehicle keeps the armor, traverse speed, and top speed that it currently has, it'll still be amazing. We have an E75 in front of us, and we've got our adrenaline ready, so I activate my adrenaline, I shoot the E75 in the track wheel, and holy, he gets obliterated. We're going to shoot him again, aiming on the track wheel, nice, another tracking shot, locking him in place, which is going to allow our object 452k to finish him off. We see an M46 pattern in the crossing. We're going to aim in. There you go. Easy shot for 500 damage. And now we reload. The pattern falls off. Not my problem. ka right into the engine deck for a 540 roll. As I said, the vehicle gets hashed now. I probably wouldn't have been able to pen that before, but and then that happens right on the one little spot that the shell could have bounced. My luck, guys. Sometimes my luck is atrocious. Actually, if that shell had penned, I might have dealt 8,000 damage this game, which is pretty unfortunate. But we aim in a Hesh on the side of the Yo for 650 damage, which is, uh, yeah, pretty devastating. Now we're going to aim it on the side of the Yo again because we have such a fast reload. We get another shell. We are up to 5,000 buckaroos at this point. I mean... That's insane. It's actually ridiculous what we're able to do. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit in the replay because we do have to drive into the front line here. And obviously nobody wants to see me drive for the next 10 minutes. Well, maybe you do, but um, yeah, we're going to skip past it anyway. The yo bounces us. We get a nice shot. The enemy mouse bounces us. We've blocked 3,000 damage at this point. We still have 1,500 health left. And obviously I have almost double the DPM of the mouse. So I don't really care even if he does pen me. He bounces me though, which is great. Super Conk's got a damage Amorax. I'm not even worried about him. We're going to load a heat shell, and as I said, the pen is still plenty on this vehicle. We can literally butter directly through the upper plate of the mouse without even any trouble whatsoever. So we pen him twice. He's down to 300 health. He can't even pen me, and not that it matters. We kill him anyway. Yeah, that mouse stood zero chance. It's a great example of why the mouse is still not the best vehicle. I think I put it in the strong category in my tier list and not super strong, and that right there is the reason why. I mean, the Badger just crapped on it like no tomorrow. That tank needs more armor on the upper plate. You shouldn't be able to do that. We're going to get a nice slap into the Super Conk, and at this point, he is a one-shot for us, up to 7,300 damage, and I just need to pen the shell. You can see, though, it's a pretty tricky shot to actually pen, so I'm going to wait. Don't rush it, and there you go. We got the pen. Never rush your shots. I mean, I wasn't worried about dying, but... 
rushing it, I might have bounced, and then one of my teammates would have picked up the kill, which would have given me about 300 less damage. So, saving your shot, waiting, is sometimes the best way to play. We did 7,600 damage. We assisted a decent chunk. We got six kills. Honestly, if that 452 didn't kill that E75, we would have gotten seven kills, which is a bit unfortunate but uh yeah i mean we literally did just about the best we could in that battle we blocked 4k uh we assisted a lot holy the badger is it's absolutely insane as usual let's finish off the video with one helping of live gameplay i have a couple replays that are pretty solid i got like two 6ks in the vehicle today i mean the thing is is just insane at farming you get in a frontline spot and as long as you're hauled down you're not showing your lower plate you will do crazy, crazy things. However, you do have to rely on your team because it is a tank destroyer. You don't have a turret, so it still falls apart to mediums every now and then, uh, especially if your heavy flank doesn't push, but I guess we'll find out. Up against us, we don't have that much in terms of heavies, but they do have a minnow. They have an E3. I hate fighting heavily armored tank destroyers, especially in something like the Badger, because the armor is really effective against heavies. It's like 374 thick, haul down. The problem is tank destroyers, especially something like the E3 that has upwards of 400 mils of APCR, it's very, very hard to actually get bounces from that type of tank. So because of that, I always absolutely hate fighting something like a uh, an E3. So we get a nice shot into the enemy a mil, and we're going to aim on him again. We're going to pen him again right through the turret. There you go. And oh boy, there it is. The enemy E3. And he's just going right for it. Alright, well, yep, there you go. Great example. Just directly through my hull. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it either. Both of my teammates are completely oblivious here, so. Help! We need, a, we need a bit of support here. Good. All right. Well, the cron is going to help me. Um, E3 is, is the problem. All right. E3 shot. So I'm going to poke. Try and get a shell into the E3. And there you go. I hope that the cron shoots the E3. There you go. Nice. All right. Let me shoot him as well. And bonk. There you go. Nice. All right. All right. We have some help from our teammate, which is all we really needed. All right. We're fine at this point. We're going to aim it on the standard. Get a nice hash for 688. All right. I'm going to say thank you for the help. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't want to be shot by that. Again, the E3 is just such a nasty tank to fight. Uh, we're going to HEM for 160. I'll take it. E3 is dead. And at this point, it's a win. I mean, this is how easy it is to do the... Uh, this is how easy it is to do well in the Badger. The gun is absolutely insane in terms of DPM. Uh, I'm just going to push this guy, honestly. It's pretty easy to get a decent chunk out into him. Uh, we'll just fire another heat shell. Our Kron actually bounces him, which I guess is unfortunate for that player. All that's left now is a Sheridan. We've already picked up 4,500 damage as it is. So, yeah, I mean, this this is easy. So easy in the in the Badger. Let's aim it on the Sheridan. Aiming and bonk. There you go. 575 max roll as well. So a pretty solid slap of Rooney. And just like that, we did over 5k. I mean, do I need to say anything else about the vehicle? It is incredible. The DPM is fantastic. The mobility, it's obviously not the best because it is a tank destroyer with a lot of armor. But it's more than enough to get the job done. We got an a, a mastery. We got... A high caliber, so he made 200,000 credits and an incredibly easy victory. I will give my uh, my teammates thumbs up here, as they did help me out, so thank you. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Badger. I would highly recommend to still consider picking this tank up when it does come out, because it's such a good vehicle. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.